What is going on, subscribers, and welcome back to another snow plowing video. We were just here recently plowing the driveway, and now the customer has asked us to remove all of this snow, which I don't blame them. We've had a record breaking uh, snow season this year. So let's see what we can do. That might be a touch loud. So I brought the snow plow from machine modding. And I believe, yeah, this skid steer is from him also. And then we have, I remember this. We got the C CSC adapter. So, this is a lot of adapters put together. See, there's like three or four of them. Because this bucket's actually a wheel loader, so you have to take it basically from a skid steer to a front loader, then to a telehandler, and then you can get it to a wheel loader. This bucket's really cool. This is not like a normal bucket. Actually handles it pretty well. So watch this. You can just open the bucket up. Looks like we're going to have to go get the truck, and it's going to be a couple loads. Oh, yeah, this is a lot of snow. From what I heard, removing snow is actually very expensive, so this is going to be a good payday for us. Should have brought like three or four trailers. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab the Terminator F2 or Act 350, I should say. Raise that plow up. Okay, I'm gonna plow in and drop my plow. We don't really need it. Go dump this load. We won't be taking it too far, We're probably just right here on the tree line. Swing around. Oh, you don't have access. Hmm. I'll take care of that. Oh, because I'm like right on the edge. Oopsie. There we go. All nice and clean. Matches the truck too. I like the blue. 
truck has a deeper blue. I think it's a uh, blue jean. Comment down below in the comic section and if you guys have a Ford and what color it is. Right now I have a red Ranger, but I don't know exactly what I want next. I was thinking about a blue truck. Let's get back to loading. We're not really trying to take all of the snow, we're just trying to skim and leave about maybe an inch or so. Get that cool screenshot. And it looks like one and a half load or bucket loads. But we'll probably just do a few trips, try to condense this pile and then we can kind of like shape it and we can go get that John Deere and blow some snow too if we need to. I think we'll just take it right here. As long as it's out of the city. I seriously don't have enough access. Where does this thing end? Oh, I didn't do that section. Yeah, we'll just dump it by the fire station. They got more space. Oh, we got high centered. Well, we're starting to make a dent. So we get more towards the house here. But I'm really surprised that this skid steer is uh, able to lift this bucket, especially since it's uh, designed for a wheel loader. Of course, snow is really not that heavy compared to some other material. I 
I think let's do this. Let's maybe layer some right here. And we don't need to take all the snow out of here. Probably take two more loads after this. I well, hope you guys are enjoying the video. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you're doing for spring break since spring break is on the horizon. I know it kind of like lasts for a at least a couple weeks, I think, different schools go at different times. Let's see, let's go, like, right here. I'll have all the links down in the description below. The F-250 is going to be only the public version, not this one currently. Hopefully he can get this one released eventually. Why do I not have access? Yeah, I'm on the access land. Like, come on. There we go. Alright, let's go pick up at least one more load and we'll see where we're at after that. But I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Alright guys, we are back. Everything is done. We brought over the John Deere with the snowblower and the radio arm. Very nice little tool. Turns a backwards plow into a frontwards plow. I think I'm just going to whip out the plow here and we'll finish up the sidewalk. So if you guys enjoyed the content, let me know in the comments below and also leaving a like on the video. You guys are amazing. Have a great day. And also, if you're on spring break in a couple, uh, at least a month from now, within times, have a good spring break. I'm not technically on spring break anymore. I graduated, but still follow my mom because she works for the school. So we're on spring break in two weeks, week and a half, basically. But have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.